Battlegrounds have been live for a couple of weeks in Classic WoW. At this point, is the game better or worse? Let's talk about it. What's up everybody, Ronald here, back with another video. Today I want to dive into Battlegrounds and how they've changed Classic WoW. But first, smash that subscriber button like an orc warrior hitting a gnome with a two-hander and crush that like button just as if you were a gnome getting sweet, sweet revenge in whatever way that would happen. Also, let us know in the comments what you think the best way would be for a gnome to take revenge on an orc and what you think the current state of the game is on your server. The biggest complaint pre 2.5 was honor farming, making the game unplayable for most people. Battlegrounds were of course released because Blizzard realized they had a huge problem and the general population was starting to quit the game. So this strategy was employed to say, okay, we're gonna release Battlegrounds to try to shift the general PVP farming away from the open world into instance content. We're at a point now where this has been out for a couple weeks. How are things going? And this is going to be somewhat server dependent so your mileage may vary so in the comment section let us know how things are going for you on your server obviously on our server i can talk about what's going on and a couple other places where we have friends who have let us know but let us know in the comment section how things are going for you if you like world pvp if you don't like world pvp how have things changed for you for the good or for the bad on our server world pvp has pretty much completely dried up we went from the most extreme thing that you could possibly have. We went from having every flight point camp with raids of people ready for you to die as soon as you landed. Also, Blackrock Mountain being completely unplayable from the sense of you would try to get into any one of the instances in Blackrock and you would just be corpse running over and over and over and over again. This was not fun. And Blizzard knew this was not fun. And so with all of that being kind of coming to an end, the game is totally different. Now, this has shifted many max level players back into instanced PvP. And you'll see everyone kind of hanging out in capital cities now around all the battle masters. Is this good? Is this bad? Not sure, but it's kind of the way that it is right now. So I thought, well, I'm going to try doing some instance PvP and see how things go and see how it's different from when it was back in vanilla. So let's talk about Alterac Valley first. Now, in a modern sense, Alterac Valley, of course, is still in the retail game, and it's played very differently than it was back in vanilla. Today, Alterac Valley is basically a zerg to the opposing faction's boss, kill, done, get your honor, rinse and repeat. That's in the retail version of the game. In Classic, there was many, many, many more things to do with the boss in Alterac Valley or with summoning additional bosses in Alterac Valley. There's also quests and reputations and all kinds of different things that can be done to make the battleground experience really come alive versus just go ahead and kill some people of the opposing faction. Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course, because it's structured in instance PvP, but there was more things to do which made it more interesting and more repeatable over time. Right now, what's going on in Classic is Alterac Valley, at least from my experience, and this is queuing up and playing multiple times, is basically being played like retail. Nobody is playing it the way that it was played back in the day. And some people are really unhappy about this. When you log into an Alterac Valley right now, or when your queue pops and you join the battle group, you get in there and instantly there's people arguing about the correct strategy. And they're talking about whether they should just be running right to the boss and doing it, whether they should be going and doing some of the objectives, people wanting to complete the quests. And in general, most likely what's gonna happen to you once you get into the battleground is people are gonna run right to the opposing faction's boss, zerg it, and be done with it. I did 10 Ultrac Valley Battlegrounds to try to test this out. In all 10 of them, this is exactly what happened. So I'm not sure if this is going to be fun long term and make it totally repeatable. But for right now, that's just the way that it is. We'll have to see how things go. Warsong Gulch, it's a totally different story. Warsong Gulch, in its very nature, is a capture the flag kind of type battleground. So it was okay. That dynamic still was alive and well. Everything was fine. You log in, do your group, your 10 on 10. We were doing capture the flag, run around, kill people, hold the flag, all the different typical strategies that are actually very similar to today's retail version of WoW and Warsong Gulch. I personally found this to be way more fun because it was just the smaller battleground is more conducive to if you're going to try to Zerg, Alterac Valley is so big that running back and forth and down, there's so much downtime and it just kind of gets a little bit repetitive. Warsong Gulch, you at least you die, you just run for like 10 seconds, you're back in the middle of the fray and you're you're having fun again. And so 
I personally found Warsong Gulch to be the place where I go to for my go-to battleground because it's just fun. I think in general, thinking about the way that retail players play instance PvP is going to be very different than the way that the perceived correct way to play a classic battleground is. And so I think that we as players of classic, if you have this purist mentality, you have to remember that everybody who's playing WoW right now, even if they did play classic or vanilla back in the day, they are all playing Battlegrounds the way that Battlegrounds function in the retail version of the game today. And I think that it's going to be very important going forward to understand that we're not going to be able to go back. Classic in and of itself is going to turn into its own kind of hybrid of vanilla experience and the retail experience. And we're already starting to see that now because the way that vanilla was back in the day is not the way the classic is turning into. And with the amount of players that left during the initial phase two to phase 2.5 transition where the game was basically unplayable all of those players are gone the population of people that are left is even very different than it was even a couple of months ago i talked about in our last video about how we kind of had this sweet spot of two or three months where everybody was leveling and the game and the nostalgia around the game were really wonderful and that was like what everybody expected out of classic they had their vanilla experience in the sense of leveling around people that they could group up with or they could work with and they could all be in there for a common good leveling in each zone together. And that experience was really awesome and really can only happen on a brand new server. And now that's over with. And so what the game is going to turn into now is going to be something totally different. I don't know what it's going to turn into. I am still playing because I do enjoy the gameplay mechanics of classic over retail. So I'm still going to stick with it and see what it turns into. And I think that there still is hope for the game. But if you're out there and you're thinking Classic is, is not vanilla and that upsets you, I just want to say that, think of it like this. Classic can't totally be vanilla because vanilla has been iterated on from a gameplay perspective for 15 years. And so all the players that have been playing Warcraft, and even if you say you've come back after even 10 years, you still had five years of playing World of Warcraft in a different way than the original vanilla experience. So... I think that we're going to end up in a situation where Classic is going to evolve into something that is different in and of itself. Now, I don't want to get into whether or not we should have expansions or anything like that, but Classic is definitely going to evolve into something that is different. Let us know down in the comments how things are going on your server. We're really curious to find out what the community is experiencing across a broad range of servers, whether you're on a PvE server or a PvP server and how things are going for you, for your guilds. Are people still logging in? Are people still playing? Are you seeing more people log in? Are you seeing more people be interested in different types of gameplay? Let us know how things are going for you, and it would be great to have a conversation, and we can all get a sense of kind of what's going on. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you on the next one.